Hello. Um, so this is WC, uh, WC, WWF Superstars from June 6, 1992. There are seven matches in this 45 minute show. As you can imagine, they don't go long. So the opening contest was the reigning WWF Intercontinental Champion Bret Hart. And he took on Tom Stone. Um, most of the match are commentators, which are perfect in um, pens. Um, <laughs> um, Brett won with the submission. Now, we talk most about Shawn Michaels and him being the number one contender. During this match, they showed Shawn um, talking to a mirror, saying how in love he was with himself, and then said he'd be winning the Intercontinental title. So yeah, Brett won with the sharpshooter. Um, the next match was a tag team match, and that was uh, Reno Riggins and Major Yates, and they took on the Nasty Boys, the former World Wrestling Federation tag team champions, in Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and the Nasty Boys won this, limited matches you can imagine for for the nasty boys, they weren't exactly the greatest, but um, the match was won when uh, Brian Nobbs uh, hit a power slam on Major Yates. I mean, Reno Riggins, actually. I can't remember somebody. And then uh, Jerry Sanks with an elbow drop from the top rope. One, two, three, the nasty boys. Carrying on to their feud with a team that we'll talk about later. Um, the next match was the very l rare spotted on WWE TV, Texas Tornado, and he took on um, Mike Collins, and um, it didn't last very long. Texas Tornado with the disc at Lariat, a one, two, three, and the Tornado gets the victory. The next match was the... Beverly Brothers, Blake and Bo, and they took on uh, Mike Samples and Scott Bailey in tag team action. Um, before the match, there was a kid outside who was wearing a, a Legion of Doom shoulder pad, and um, the Beverly Brothers, mainly to get cheap heat, um, decided to take off the kid's thing and put LOS for Legion of Sissies. Oh dear. Um, the Beverly's one is quite comfortably, as you can imagine, that spike headbutt thing that they do. And they got the win, a one, two, three. Um, the next match was a tag, well, it wasn't a tag match, it was a singles match between Crush and uh, George Anderson. And um, Crush won this with the, like that head grip submission thing that he had. He won it with that. Um, and at the end, he lifted George Anderson's arm for everyone to cheer, and then George Anderson fell over. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, but yeah, Crush went with the submission victory. I'd like to also make out that, or point out even, that the, um, the person that attacked the big boss man last week, the convict, now has a name. His name is nails that's right nails so nails has debuted in the world wrestling federation uh, the next match was a tag team match between kato and his tag team partner for the evening kevin kruger and they took on high energy coco beware and Owen Hart. Um, and this was a good match uh the K a good match because coco and, and owen specifically were very good at what they did um, Owen's more than Ho Ho, but Owen was whew, brilliant. Um, flying drop kick from Kate uh, from Coco, and then Owen up with like the the rolling roll up. If you want to call it that? I'm not quite sure what you call it. But he got the win, and they win it. One, two, three, and they are headed to a feud with the Nasty Boys. Because during this match, the Nasty Boys said, and I quote, we're going to short circuit high energy.
before the main event wrestling of the evening, there was an interview with Papa Shango, and he was talking about the warrior and how warrior wants it like not to be in control and I'm going to take you to the dark valley and all this weird nonsense. And then he walked off and Mean Gene went, whew, thank God that's over. And then Shango looked back at him, did the boo and the smoke came out. And then Gene dropped the hand and then on his hand, on his mic, sorry, then on his hand was all that gooky stuff that we saw a few weeks ago. Strange. And the next match and the main event of the evening was Repo Man and he took on um, Dan, I can't read my own writing, Dan Robbins, that's embarrassing. Dan Robbins he took on um, and he was talking about the Bulldog most of this match because uh, the Bulldog of course, he uh, he hung out to dry. <laughs> wow, it's a good joke. Might be insensitive, but it's a good joke. Um, um, Repo Man won this with um, the um, with a submission. I think it was the uh, Boston Crab, like one-legged Boston Crab. So yeah, he got the win. That was your superstars overall. Um, uh, no, it's okay, nothing special. Um, it didn't really go anywhere. I mean, it it was going to um, it furthered the, the big boss man nails storyline. Um, they were talking the match that maybe the boss man might not be coming back, so who knows where that will lead. Um, next week we've got different people in. Uh, Kamala's going to be in action, but uh, they're going to have an interview with the World Wrestling Federation champion. The Macho Man Randy Savage. Be interesting to what he has to say. Ooh, yeah, the Macho Man. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not the Macho Man. I am Will. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for being, uh, yeah. Thank you for just being here, ladies and gentlemen. You can't see me. But thank you. Good night. And I'll see you at ringside.